did you set yourself milestones um, time-wise to say mm. by the end of the year if we haven't achieved X mm. we call it off we've we've given it a good shot was there any uh, that that strategy no we didn't funny enough and uh, we just knew that we had to survive a year that was kind of the key we, if we could survive the first year and have a bit of cash in the bank then then we we thought we'd get through it because everybody says most businesses fail within the within two years yes and people tell you this uh, you know maybe it's true maybe it isn't true but for us it was a year we had to get past the first year and then once we'd done that we felt a lot better and we carried on and the funny of the second year is when we really hit our head we had a harder time the second year than the first year because we kept pitching and not winning but the third year we had a liftoff and then we had a very lucky break because in any business you need credibility yes and we had some nice clients, but they weren't the big juicy clients that would attract us to other big advertisers. And we had a break with BMW. And that was the famous uh, mouse uh, on the that's steering wheel. Right, that's right. Was that the breakthrough advert? That was the breakthrough advert. What had happened was we kept knocking on BMW's door and the guy said to us, okay, I'll give you a small project. The new BMW 3 Series got power steering. Go and create a print ad. I haven't got a big budget, create a print ad. We went away and we came up with this, this crazy idea of the mouse on the steering wheel. We went back and we said, we're not going to give you a print ad, but we're going to give you a, a really good TV commercial. We're going to give you a great idea that's hopefully everybody will notice. And this guy was brave enough to say, okay, do it, but it can't cost too much money. We did it at cost. Um, and that was the beginning of a real liftoff uh, because that ad broke and everybody talked about the ad and then eventually BMW gave us all their business. Yes. And that was the big, the big liftoff really. Uh, once we got the credibility of BMW, then other people started looking at us. Th that, that ad, that moment that it was conceptualized, mm. let's put a mouse on the steering wheel. Mm. Did you believe, did you know then, this is a game changer for Huntless Cars? No, we knew we had a great idea. We didn't know it was going to be a game changer, but we, we knew it was going to be a great idea. The big challenge was to sell it to the client because he'd given us a budget for a print ad. And now we wanted to create a television ad, which was going to cost more in production than he gave us and flight it. And the funny thing is it was only scheduled to flight about five times. But people talked about it. It created such a stir that we just kept going. It certainly changed Huntless Scars, but yeah. it changed the face of South African advertising. Yeah. There was an incredible ripple effect, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Suddenly the world looked and said, the creative guys yeah. are actually down at the bottom of, of Africa. And at the same time, we had the beat the Benz situation where the Mercedes Benz fell over the cliff and we answered back. So that all happened, uh, I'm not sure of the timing, but it happened uh, very much at the same time. So those two ads kind of changed the, changed the world for us anyway. And actually did a lot to change South African advertising uh, because the beat the Benz ad got banned and That's right. was comparative advertising and which was ridiculous uh, and you know and I stood up and started fighting the comparative thing saying if a journalist can compare two cars talk openly about a Mercedes versus a BMW why can't we do it in advertising and then this particular client who was hell of a brave I have to say who's, who stuck with us and let us do it uh, well it changed the world it changed advertising here and uh, yeah you got changed more, us. <laughs> you got and so much editorial yeah. you couldn't Oof. pay for the column yeah. inches yeah. that you, and the airtime that you were getting Correct. as a result of the, yeah. those adverts so I guess the lesson is you've got to be brave you know if you if you believe in something and you think it's good enough uh, be brave try and sell it yes